Hey guys, what is up? Red Panda Mining here. How you guys all doing? I hope you're all doing really well and having a great day. In this video, I thought I'd do something different and just talk about something personal where I would gauge the community and get some questions and answers and I guess opinions on how you guys, why you guys got 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 into crypto mining. What 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 got you hooked into crypto mining? Uh, in general. So I I thought I would do something different and I posted a question on r slash GPU mining on Reddit. I, I rarely post stuff on Reddit so uh, bear with me guys. Uh, I, this this is this is kinda cool. Um, I asked what got you guys hooked into crypto mining and I got a bunch of a bunch of comments already uh, and in the past day or so. So I'm just gonna read through a couple of these comments here of why some of you guys got into crypto mining and I'm just gonna give my reaction and I guess just some perspective and stuff late uh, after and I, I just want to I just wanted to know what what got you guys hooked and of course uh, before before I begin I know that probably there are a lot of answers to this question that are gonna be the same and gener generalizing they are probably gonna be mostly the same but uh, everyone has different perspectives, everyone has different outlooks, everyone has different situations and uh, all that kind of stuff. So of course it's going to be a lot of different variations of the answer. So <laughs> let, let's begin guys. Um, so first, we got the first comment here from I think Highlander and he says, uh, look, Highlander with, an, with a J, I think that's H-J-G-H Lander, <laughs> if I'm reading that right. Okay, so... He says here, I've always been a hardware guy, playing with a dozen, a few dozen multiple GPU setups since since 2008 or so. Wow, this guy's like an OG. Mining gives me a chance to play with hardware and reap rewards without having to spend all my time on it. <laughs> nice. Okay, so I I definitely uh, I can I can definitely um, how do I say it? I, I I'm also a hardware guy myself, so. I can definitely bode well with this guy here, uh, saying he's a hardware guy and he's been been playing around with uh, GPU hardware since 2008. Uh, I've been into like building computers since 2005 for myself. So uh, to 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 see this guy answer this question, uh, what got him hooked into crypto mining? Uh, I'm des I'm definitely uh, in the same boat as him, and. His second part saying mining gives him a chance to play with hardware and um, that's also a really a really um, I would say like a passionate kind of answer there. Uh, mining gives me the chance to play with hardware and I <laughs> that's that's like a passion thing like enjoyment or like a hobby as well. And then um, his last part he that he said reap rewards without having to spend time all my time on it. I it. It, it depends okay so a lot of people enjoy enjoy crypto mining as they like to do a lot of tinkering and then on the on the other side of it a lot of people like to uh, of course just leave their GPU rigs GPU mining rigs running and of course they're gonna profit and all that kind of stuff from it so there's a lot of different ways uh, people can look can have an uh, perspective and outlook on the the fact of what does GPU, GPU mining going to entail for me? So for Highlander here, he he likes to he likes to gain the financial reward, and without having to spend too much time on it. So that's pretty cool. That's that's really cool. And I I, I definitely I I I'm I'm in, I'm on both sides for myself. I I like to reap the rewards, but I also like spending time. Uh, on my mining rigs, you know, playing around what's what's profitable, what's not profitable, trying this kind of software, and of course, when I do that, I am gonna have a lot of doubt downtime, so I'm gonna be getting less rewards. So, I guess I'm kind of screwing myself <laughs> when I do that. But I'm I'm a crypto mining YouTuber, so I, I guess I have to play around. Uh, with the stuff for you guys. So Highlander, thank you for the comment, man. If you see this video by chance. So okay, on to the next, on to the next comment, guys. Daniel six four four. He says, 
Uh, winning a GTX 1080 in a giveaway, NVIDIA was running on Twitter when I already had one 1080 Ti. I figured once I had two of them, it was basically criminal not to start making money with them. What sealed the deal was when about a month, a month and a half after I received one, I won and they were giving away $10 each a day. A day each. Sadly, those days are gone. Okay, so Daniel644. Wow. Okay, so he won a... A, a 1080 Ti, that's insane. And then uh, he decided to mine with it. So I guess uh, he says here, I'm making. they were making about $10 each a day. So I'm guessing this was around 2017 when crypto mining was just coming on the up and up. And I definitely think he was probably using nice hash as they were showing those kind of numbers uh, during those times. So I would say between September and... September 2017 and February 2018 where NiceHash was probably showing these kind of numbers on 1080 Ti's and like video cards in general they were just showing insane amount of profits during those times and um, Daniel 644 yeah definitely awesome time to do some GPU mining because that's when uh, mining altcoins back then was pretty profitable uh, mining it into Bitcoin so Awesome, awesome, awesome time, man. I, I thank you for the comment. And see, guys, this is just one way why somebody got into uh, crypto mining. Uh, he, he was just getting into a giveaway on Twitter and he won a card, a 1080 Ti that he was using. Uh, he, so he figured, you know, why not just mine with it? So um, Daniel644, that's awesome, dude. Thank you for that story. I, I really, that is that is truly awesome. Thank you for that story. I wonder if there's other people that got into a similar situation. I'm going to say not very many because this is probably a giveaway on NVIDIA uh, from Twitter. So not very many people would, 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 would have that kind of situation. So, wow, pretty, pretty rare, I think. Pretty cool. Okay, thanks for that, Daniel. Uh, next, next, uh, next story here I want to read through. Runner750, uh, he says, I have always liked playing around with computers. Mining gave me a new, a new thing to learn and it's like I have money a money machine in my house though it doesn't pay a lot at the moment okay so runner 750 great 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 perspective here great story uh, the first part I always like playing around with computers I'm the same way <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys that are watching right now are probably into tinkering with computers and uh, the second part, mining gave me a new thing to learn, and it's oh, and it's like I have a money machine in my house. So, um, yeah, basically, you you were you were like, okay, uh, crypto mining can pay, can definitely you know make some kind of money, some monetary value uh, here or there. So pretty cool. And of course, as of now, uh, th though it doesn't pay a lot at the moment, um, definitely. As a, as we look at the markets right now, it's definitely low because of the Bitcoin dominance as an all time, you know, getting getting much higher and the altcoins are are worth much less compared to Bitcoin. So yeah, definitely. Runner750, thank you for the comment and story, man. Okay, next up we got Blue Hills 59 Blue, <laughs> Blue Hills. What's up, man? I know Blue Hills. Red Panda, you are everywhere. I got into mining when my friend told me in 2011 it was only a way to get into cryptocurrency for our age since Coinbase banned buyers under the age 18. <laughs> wow. That's that's hilarious. Uh, interesting story. Interesting uh, perspective. I got into crypto mining when my friend told me in 2011 and it was only a way to get cryptocurrency for our age. Okay, so definitely a different way. Um because you weren't old enough uh, to buy uh, Bitcoin or crypto on Coinbase back then. And wow, 2011, eh? Blue Hills, you are uh, you are one of the OGs, eh? One of the OGs. And uh, recently, I just I also picked you in a uh, GPU, GPU giveaway. So congrats to you. Congrats to you, man. And uh, Blue Hills, I definitely, I would think maybe there are some people out there that were not of the age to buy cryptocurrency on certain exchanges. Uh, you, of course, you had to be a certain age and all that kind of stuff. So see, d definitely a different story. It's not because um, maybe the underlying factor was also you want to get, gain monetary value. I mean, all of these comments I'm going to say is because everyone wants to make some kind of money in some form or fashion. But reading these comments, people are getting into it 
in a different way. Okay, guys, just just giving you guys that that perspective. Okay, Blue Hills, thank you for the comment. Uh, all right, uh, SVG seven SVGR seventy two. Next up, uh, people should be honest and just come out and say it. Uh, hookers and Lambos. What what else? <laughs> I mean. SVGR72, I mean, this this is obviously down to the point and uh, really, obviously, pretty honest. And, uh, of course, I, I'm going to say, I mean, it's, it's definitely not for hookers and Lambos, but, I mean, Lambos, of course, but... Uh, <laughs> Uh, just, just a funny, just a funny comment, a funny perspective. I, I mean, this is not for everybody. Uh, definitely not for everybody. So, uh, but maybe for you, the reason why you got into it because of that. That's, that's pretty funny. <laughs> uh, SVGR 72. Thanks for the comment, man. Okay. Next up guys. Um, I can't say your name here. It's pretty, oh, okay. XIX spider XIX. Okay. Uh, I bought a 1080 TI. I wanted to get to, I wanted to benchmark it and stress test it. Mined Ethereum for a night and it did nothing as I had no idea what the heck I was doing. So I decided to figure out how crypto mining turns into money. Okay, great. That's a good. That's a good. Uh, that's a good story. Good perspective there. And I mean, with with Spider, he wanted to learn. He wanted to figure out how crypto mining works. And I would think that that what that was a something that a lot of people would was getting into. A lot of people were wondering. Uh, even myself back in the day, you know, 2013 is when I got into crypto mining and I saw an ad for Bitcoin and I was just like, what, what is this? What is this? Like we're, we can mine Bitcoin with our computers or Litecoin back then or with your graphic cards. Like this is, this is crazy. Like, <laughs> so that's, that's what, that's what got him hooked. So pretty cool. Uh, obviously uh, it turns into money part at the end. So obviously for, uh, the financial benefit there for Spider. So pretty cool, Spider. Thank you for the uh, story there. Uh, okay, next up, I just want to read Ruzio04. I was benchmarking. I was on a benchmarking forum that since has closed shop, and the user was showing off his rig with six of the brand new RX480 mining mining Ethereum. I had tried to mine Bitcoin back that back when GPU mining was possible, but sadly I gave up gave it up after a day. I was reading this form post calculating ROI and I decided to, I wanted a form of passive income and a shot at retiring early. Okay, so for, for monetary and financial freedom. I couldn't talk with, I couldn't talk, uh, I couldn't talk the wife into buying crypt, crypto outright, but hardware was tangible. Yes, exactly. I'm still only mining Ethereum with 180 mega hash total, but that portfolio keeps growing. Okay, Ruzhyo04, awesome story, my friend. Thank you for the comment on my post. This this is definitely something very wholesome story here. Um, I would say a lot of people story can definitely condone uh, with this comment here. Um, a, a lot of people that are married, uh, a lot of people that have you know a different situation, right? Uh, they can't buy crypto. A lot of they can't put put forth a lot of money into crypto, but you know, they can go the low risk way into buying GPUs. And so that's what this guy did. He, he was able to buy some GPUs and mine cryptocurrency uh, in the beginning. To, uh, to, 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 he didn't give a date here, but that was a, you know, more low risk, you know, as he said, tangible way uh, to get into crypto mining. And of course, he was hooked into the uh, getting at a shot of retiring. So Great, great story, great perspective. Uh, Ruzo04, uh, thank you for the comment, man. That's awesome. I definitely like this one, and I, I, I do feel that a lot of people can relate uh, relate to this one. Okay, uh, I got a couple more here. I'm just going to quickly read out a couple more here, guys. I don't want this video to be very long, but I'm sorry if I can't get to everybody's. Um, okay, so I, next one I, I want to read here is Nuclear Toad. Uh, built a water-cooled monstrosity for virtual reality gaming and decided I should at least make the darn thing earn its keep when it's not playing games. That's true, Nuclear Toad. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, <laughs> of course, of course. Nuclear Toad, I like that. Thank you for that. Uh, okay, next up we got Pistol22CAL. Um, Pistol, oh, what's up? I know your name. Uh, Pistol's on my Discord and one of my community members. 
Um, for me, it was hearing about Bitcoin in September 2017 being on the rise. I looked into how I could get into Bitcoin too. Well, that got me down the rabbit hole and GPU mining Ethereum and then I stumbled on a coin called Puril. I met some great people in Puril, um, uh, got me into mining. I started with a single GPU, a MSI Armor, RX 474 gigabyte, and I mined Puril. I got lucky and sold some and I was able to purchase some of the parts into mining uh, to build a mining rig. I now have a 12 GPU RX rig, but I think my real passion is with microcap ETHash projects and CPU mineable coins. The community is one of a kind too, and I enjoy the time I get to spend with my fellow miners. Pistol, amazing, amazing. So it looks like, yeah, you had a passion for getting into crypto mining uh, and a passion for uh, the community as well. So Wow, that's that's really cool. So, wow, September 2017. So just about two years ago. And uh, I like that. I like that so much. Really, really great story of how you got into it and how you got hooked. Uh, Pistol, thank you for that. I, I really can definitely relate to this. And I'm sure a lot of people can relate to it as well. I, I don't see that you're, you don't say anything about financial gain or uh, monetary value or financial freedom or anything like that. But of course, I'm sure uh, underlying you do have a little bit of financial uh, uh, freedom that you want to get from crypto mining. But other than that, I, I do like the story here, Pistol. Thank you for that. <laughs> Thanks, Pistol. Okay, uh, Co Bullet, just a fun hobby that can potentially make you money. Great, straight to the point. That's true, very true. Uh, Mr. No Feeling, it's a free real estate. Um, I'm not sure what that means. Uh, does that mean he's meaning GPUs are kind of a, you know, physical asset and they make money for you? Yeah, yeah, I would say definitely, definitely. Um, because, you know, GPU mining is definitely a lower risk than into uh, buying the coin outright because GPUs, uh, they have a physical asset. Uh, 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 you can still sell them later on if you want. Uh, Rotary Furball, he says profit back then, dot, dot, dot. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Delicious performer, money. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, crafty connection. I came into mining stuff about six months ago. In the beginning, I was having about two or three N cheap cards that are useless for any algo. But later on, after doing some research, I found Rio currency and tried these on it and found it profitable. So after the interest developed in mining, now uh, a few GTX 1080 cards as well, but still doing solo mining on real currency because I am not very expert and I found real solo mining easy, smooth, and profitable for me. Great, crafty connection. That is awesome, man. That is definitely uh, a story of somewhere, someone getting into low cap mining coins and uh, profiting from it. So, wow, great, crafty connection. Thank you for the story, man. Um, okay, a few more here, guys. I, I, I want to get through everyone who's commented here. I, I just appreciate everybody who's commented here. Uh, Blue Giraffe. What's up, man? Profit was the only reason that my parents agreed on lending me money to buy a GPU. But for me, I love the hardware part. My only GPU was a 9500 GT. Wow. And having a high-end PC was like a dream for me. Sadly, the hardware costs were so much in my country. Just imagine, I was 17 walked into a shop, asked how much is a 1660, uh, six, 10, oh, sorry, a 1060, and I asked and said, okay, I want five of that. That was the best feeling ever. Oh, man, that's so wholesome. Blue Giraffe, Blue Giraffe, that is wholesome, man. I, I definitely can, can relate to you because I started off, I went, to a, I went to a store and just bought, you know, six 1060s uh, at once. That was my first GPU rig. And man, the feeling of, of going into a shop. And after that, I was hooked, man. After 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 I bought those cards, you know, I was I was hooked ever since, you know. That was definitely that was definitely uh definitely a relatable uh, story there. Blue giraffe, thank you so much. Wow, 9500 GT, that's that's an old card. Okay, next up we got Gen Gerbs. I thought it was free money, but then all the rainy days dried up. Uh, but I'm still here waiting for the rains. <laughs> Ah, uh, that's awesome. Uh, Jen Jerbs, very, very cool, man. Thank you. Thank you for the uh, comment there. I thought it was free money. I, I would say a lot of people definitely got into it thinking they would make lots of money, but it's definitely something that uh, it, it, people are in it for the long haul. It's it's some not something that people can make 
uh, right away. Don't don't expect to get rich quick. This is not a get rich quick scheme. Okay, um, this is something where we we are supporting the networks. We are uh, mining um, to uphold the networks, and plus we are getting uh, mon uh, financial uh, coins from it. Uh, it may not be really profitable right now, but who knows, as the market goes up and down, it's very volatile, we can profit from that later on. So, thank you for that, Gen Gerbs. Uh, okay, we got Ed Z. Uh, to make a profit, which should be the reason the reason 99% of you are lying turd bags in here. Wow, what a, what, a, what a comment right there. Thank you for that, Ed Z. <laughs> if your hobby is buying and assembling and optimizing and trouble, troubleshooting mining rigs, earning digital currency, you have zero use for other than selling, uh, than selling you need better hobbies. Okay, well, definitely, definitely. I, I, I mean, straight to the point there, uh, Ed Z. That's kind of more, uh, kind of more of a negative outlook, um, uh, per se. But uh, you know, straight to the point. Definitely. The, rela the reality is we got suckered into Lambos and making money while doing nothing only to realize that it was only on its way out when it hit mainstream and the only people to make money were those mining long before uh, we knew what GPU mining was. Wow. I mean, honestly, uh, re reality, of course, when more and more people come into crypto mining, people, because of the network difficulty, all that kind of stuff, yeah, I mean, Ed Z, I mean, he's got a point there. Definitely, he's got a point there. And um, in terms of uh, understanding from that point of view, I would say he's right. He's right from his point of view. From my point of view, it's it's different. I, I'm 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 passionate of I'm passionate in the hardware side aspect of crypto mining, and I really loved getting into it. So. Um, of course, with Ed Z's perspective, it's totally different. A lot of people probably have that kind of perspective and point of view. Uh, for me, I, I, I'm, I'm definitely not thinking it that way. So uh, I don't know about some of you. Mention, let me know in the comments. But there's obviously going to be people that are, are like Ed Z here uh, with this comment. So. Okay, uh, thanks for that, Edzy. I, I definitely get what you're saying, and of course, you're not alone. And there's always different. There's always two sides to the story, uh, many different variations to that. So thank you for that. Uh, okay, last last comment here, Hammer Hammer Editor. Okay, last comment, guys, and then we'll be done with the video here. Uh, six years ago, I was trying to build my first uh, gaming computer. And I was reading a Tom's Hardware Benchmark article on the performance of the Radeon HD seven, oh <laughs> HD seventy eight fifty. Wow, this card's old. Then I saw a test called Bitcoin mining, so I started mining Bitcoin on that card. And in one week, my daily profit went from eighty cents a day to forty cents a day. The first gen ASICs were being shipped at that point. I then built a four card rig in twenty fourteen during the Dogecoin gold rush, and fifteen cards when ETH. ETH slash XMR Gold Rush was getting started in 2017. Finally, at the start of 2018, I started a warehouse with 200 cards, so I achieved my dream from four years earlier. Wow. Uh, this first part here is definitely my similar situation that I had, uh, but the second part here, I def definitely don't have 200 cards, but really cool, Hammer Editor. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for the comments here. Uh, Sadly, I have to leave crypto mining forever since it's not profitable in my area and it's commodity. It's a commodity business. Oh, def developing software and financial stuff is much more profitable around here. And there are real companies with huge office towers doing so. Oh, wow. Yeah, definitely. I like your YouTube videos on analyzing the crypto market and bringing us the most important news. Keep up. Keep making videos. And when the next gold rush starts, you might become the next Voss coin or buried one. Oh wow, Hammer Editor, thank you for that comment, my friend. I wow, thank you, man. Um, okay, I just want to comment first. Uh, thank you for the story, man. I definitely can relate to your uh, your story here, definitely. And uh, this is definitely something that a lot of people probably also have a similar situation and story as well. Can definitely relate to that. Uh, hammer editor so thank you man uh, the reasons why you got hooked into the crypto mining it's definitely uh, you know a passion and something that a lot of people in, and enjoy so and to answer your last comment here um, I, I, I don't I don't want to become the next Voss coin or buried one I'm just doing my own thing 
and I, of course, I, I, I love both of these guys, Voscoin and Buried One, so, and all of the other crypto mining YouTubers out there, and I respect those guys full heartedly, and I, I, I definitely, I, I respect these guys so much, so, um, thank you for that, Hammer Editor. Uh, the crypto mining community is something that I definitely am super passionate about, and I will continue on making videos for you, man. Thank you so much. Okay, so on that note, guys, thank you for watching. This was probably a long one, but let me know in this video what got you guys hooked into crypto mining, okay? So this was just a small sample size of a few comments here. Uh, and I, I would like to get your guys' story. I would like to get your guys' perspective. I'd love to get your guys' situations on why you got into crypto mining. Um, all that good stuff, guys. This is just really fun. It's really awesome to read all your guys' comments and stories. I'm definitely super passionate about this space, and I will continue to keep going, making videos, and uh, giving, giving videos about everything about crypto mining in this ecosystem. So I appreciate you guys so much. Let me know what you think down below. Smash that like button, guys, if you haven't already. Click the subscribe, notification bell, all that good stuff, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Have a good one, and peace out.